compressed data structures. Compressed data structures are used to handle big data using computer with limited memory. And typical data structures are compressed topics arrays, trees, and graphs. And in this talk, we focus on orthogonal range search on suffix arrays. Our contribution is as follows. We consider three uh, related problems. Orthogonal range search, orthogonal range search on suffix arrays, and two-sided orthogonal range search on suffix arrays. Okay? And there are inclusion in a relation. Or S contains or S on SA and or S on SA contains two sided or S on SA. And two sided or S on SA corresponds to the standard uh, uh, string problem pattern search. Okay. And or S on SA corresponds to position restricted pattern search, which I will explain later. And for ORS problem, we consider n points on n by n grid. Then the lower band for the uh, data structure for ORS is n log n bit. And for pattern search, the lower band is n log sigma bit where sigma is the alphabet size of a string. Okay. Then in n log sigma bits, we can store a, a string. So this is a lower bound. And live arbors is as follows. For two-sided ORS on a SA, we just store the string itself and we scan the string. So the uh, space is n log sigma and time is order n. Then for ORS on SA, it is the same. And for ORS, uh, space is n log n and time is order n. And if we use uh, our web S3 to solve these problems, then for two sided ORS on our essay, the space is n log n bit, and the query time is order log n for counting query. And for ORS on essay, it's the same. And for ORS, it's also, also the same. So if we use a web series, then the space is much larger than the lower band n of sigma. We want to compress this uh, space. Then for two-sided ORS on, R, on SA, there is a compressed data structure called compressed suffix array or F in the index. Then the space is roughly n of hk bit, where hk is the order k entropy. Just a bit. And query time is order of n. And for ORS, there is no complex data structure because the lower band is in no way. Okay. And this paper considers ORS on SA and we want to compress the space to less than n of n and we want to achieve the lower band n of sigma bit. And this is our main theorem. For a string of length n and any constant epsilon greater than zero, there exists a data structure for ORS on SA using order one over epsilon times n times h0 plus one bit, which supports a counting query in order n to Egyptian time and a reporting query in order OCC plus one times 
and to the epsilon time. Where OCC is the number of occurrences of a pattern. And this is the first data structure for the problem with linear space and sublinear query time. Okay. I will explain basic data structures for patterns search. Although you you will know very well. And first I explain suffix arrays. It is an array of indexes of suffixes of a text sorted in the correct order. For this text, we consider these suffixes and sort them in the graphic order. Then we store the starting position of each suffix. Then this is the suffix array. And by using suffix arrays, we can search a pattern of length m, which appears in t, in order m log n type. So we can just use a binary search on We can obtain a range i to j of the suffix array, which corresponds to the pattern. So if the pattern is A, there are five occurrences. And this corresponds to the range one to five of the subject okay. Then the space complexity is n log n bits for the subject story and n log sigma bits for T. And in general, N is much larger than sigma, so the index size is much larger than the uh, text size. And we want to consider the position restricted pattern search program. So we want to find the pattern P, which appears in T at position in between S and T. For example, if P is A and the position is 4 to 9, then the answer is 8, 4, and 6. Okay. There are five occurrences of P, but among them, only three appeared in position 4 to 9. So, and then this problem is related to the orthogonal search problem on suffix array. For well, the suffix array of string T, we put the point I S A I on the N by N grid. For example, S A one is eleven, so we put one eleven. And they say 2 is 8, so we put 2 is 8, and so on. Okay. So, let i, j be the range of the suffix array corresponding to the pattern p. If pattern is a, then i, j is 1 to 5. Then, occurrences of p at positions from s to t correspond to point in i to j times s to t on the grid. So i j is 1 to 5, so it's here. And 4 to 9 is here. So then there are three points. So this correspond to the occurrences of the pattern P in position S to T. There are three occurrences for six eight. And on the suffix array, 
then the index correct order is one to five and there are three occurrences um, at position of the line. Okay. So the problem is it's pleased to be also arrange search on some exercise. Probably trees are data structures for a string supporting access to tag and set in order of schema time. This can be used for also arrange size. If we if we set schema close to n then we can do a counting query in order of n time and the space is n plus bit row of n times row of n bit. We can perform also running search on select size using web stream. Each node of the web stream corresponds to some range of y axis. So, and given a query region x1 to x2 times y1 to y2. We search the tree recursively, but if for for some node the corresponding y uh, axis is completely inside the query region, then we know that any point are uh, included included in the query region. So for counting query, we, we can just return the number of points. So we need not to search the node below. Then we can show that only other log n nodes are traversed for counting query. Now I'll explain the basic idea of our data structure. We want to use the web S3 for range search, but if we store it explicitly, then space it in log n bit. So it's too large. So it, uh, we want to compress it. So then uh, the bits in the web S3 um, come from the numbers in the suffix array. And actually, we can compress the suffix array into the compressed suffix array. Then the suffix array uh, also uses n log n bits, but it can be compressed into other n h0 bits. So instead of starting the web stream explicitly, we start only the suffix array, ah, sorry, compressed suffix array. And then compute ranks on the bit vectors of the web trees on the fly from the complete suffix array. So, how to compute a rank at a node of a web tree? We divide the bit vector at depth zero of the web tree into blocks of length uh, delta. Yes. There are blocks of length delta. Okay. Then, then each block in, in depth zero is divided into two at depth one. So if a block contains zero, then they go to the left child and if there is one bit then it go to the right child. So it blocks it at depth one yeah. correspond to the zero bits or one bit in the parent node. So each bit vector in a node at depth greater than zero are divided into n over delta blocks. In each block of a node, 
we store the number of zeros and one in positioning blocks. These are used to compute ranks the node. And for the leftmost zero and one in the corresponding block in the parent node, we store the positions in the left node. So for example for this block it's parent and node is here and we for the leftmost uh, one we store the position in the root node or for this bit and in this block there's no zero so in this case we go to the nearest zero to the left and restore the corresponding position at the root node in in this block okay. at depth k there are two digit k nodes and each block contains each node contains a nova delta blocks then to compute the rank of the node in depth k first we binary search to find the block in depth k given the position i so i contains is contained in this block then to compute rank at position i we use the start rank value before that block then we go to the corresponding block at the root node we know that the i speed in in this node uh, correspond to some bit in in this block at the root node then we we extract the suffix array values for this block so there are delta values in the block and we extract them and then from the values we can obtain the bit in depth k so rank values are computed in order delta times log n time there's a difficulty the number of blocks is log n n is over then the space is greater than n log n bit, so we cannot compress it. So how to solve it? We use the relation between suffix i's and whatever it is. There are two digit nodes at the depth k of the web study, and each of which implicitly stores is the first k bits are the same. So then the same values are of course positions in a string. So a survey of the suffix array for each node at depth k coincides the suffix array of a substring of length n over two to k except for some entries near the boundary. This is the boundary. The left most node at depth k corresponds to uh, service arrays but, uh, with fast bits are all zero. Then the service array values correspond to the positions from 1 to n over 2 to k. Then this 
subarray of the suffix array corresponds to the suffix array of this text. Okay. Similarly, for the second node of the scale, the positions are this range, and this corresponds to the suffix array of this sub text, and so on. So we can obtain a recursive data structure. So for every k, which is epsilon log n levels, we store sub arrays of the suffix array in a complex form using the complex sub arrays. So the root node corresponds to the entire complex suffix array. Okay. And at the depth k, and there are two TGK nodes, and for each node, we store uh, CSA for a substring. Okay. Then, uh, here we construct a recursive data structure for, for this uh, substring. Then, ranks are Completed from the suffix array in the root node of a web three for for that sub program. Okay. Then we obtain the main theorem. The data structure size is order one over epsilon times n times h zero plus one bits. And the current counting query is done in order n to Egyptian time. And reporting query is OCC plus one times n to Egyptian time. There are many applications of the array that on size. This will give an application to range LCP. Range LCP is the program that expression alpha data in a system we define the maximum LGP from its complex length of the room is complex fix between I and J where I and J are versions in the text and between alpha and beta. There are existing algorithms and data structures for and RTLCP. And all data structures use at least 10 log n bits. And this paper reduces the space to one by epsilon time n times. H0 plus 1 bits. Although the query time is uh, n to the epsilon. To solve this problem, we extend our data structure to support both our range predecessor and successor queries on suffix arrays. So this is conclusion. We propose the data structure for also range search on suffix arrays. Then, this is the first data structure for the program with linear space and sublinear query time. And a feature work is uh, if we can achieve polylog n query time or prove it, it is not possible. That's all. Thank you.